Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to turn look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extra GFS and ECM ensembles of Aaron Trout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks gets us into uh, early uh, early June. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast and we'll be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. So it's back Bank holiday Monday. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely bank holiday, coronation bank holiday Monday. I don't know. I hope you're having a lovely day uh, anyway. Um, but uh, we normally have Mondays off from the live stream when it's a bank holiday. But this week, we are all this time. We are actually going to be live streaming tonight at 8. So I shall see you uh, a little bit later on. Maybe, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We only need to put on a round. 35 subscribers now to get ourselves to uh, 15.8k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for that. Right, let's have a look then. Let's start off with the CT. This has lifted up quite a bit over the coronation weekend. Now sitting at 12.4, which is 1.2 degrees above the uh, 61 to 99 average at divisional to yesterday to be 7th of May. So um, that's going to be above average, over a degree above average uh, for the first week of the month. These are the GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles on Glasgow. Today, the red line is the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Glasgow. We start off above average uh, at the moment. We will see those upper air temperatures coming back closer to normal, though, later on uh, this week. So uh, a little bit of a cool down will be taking, on, uh, taking place going on later on this week. Um, and then as we go into the middle part of May, just looking close to average really with those upper air temperatures, and that carries on into the second half of the month, to be honest, uh, slightly above average temperatures. Uh, then in order to be above average, certainly nothing particularly exciting showing up from an upper air temperature perspective. And precipitation-wise, it looks quite wet, that, doesn't it? From uh, beginning to a regular precipitation spike, so it looks like May will continue to be... Uh, really quite unsettled temperature anomalies from the 8th to the 16th of May. Uh, they're coming out a little bit cooler than average for England and Wales, a little bit milder than average for Scotland. And precipitation anomalies from the 8th to 16th of May. Wetter than normal, so, uh, you know, looks a little bit, a little bit mixed, looks a little bit wet, rather cool, certainly nothing to get particularly excited about in uh, the next week or so. Latest wind from Matt from Earth and Old School dot net shows that low pressure is controlling the weather today. We've got a big low in the Atlantic and a weather front coming across the country. So that will be bringing outbreaks of rain uh, with it, followed by uh, showery dishes. And this low will remain in control then throughout most of the coming week. Okay, so I'll uh, have a look at the chart data then. This is how the latest UK Met Euro is looking for Thursday with low pressure centred over the country. Uh, well, there will be plenty of showers, showers along the spells of rain. Now, Friday to Saturday, we'll see a bit of a change as a ridge of high pressure starts to build. So that will bring something a little bit drier and uh, warmer at the end of the week. But it doesn't last all that long. By the time you get to uh, Monday the 15th, we've got the pressure, pressure's weakening. Uh, and pulling high pressure, pulling back out into the Atlantic. So just turning rather cooler and more showery again there, I think, over uh, next weekend or the coming weekends, I suppose. Uh, I can't again with that area of low pressure from the country on Thursday. That gets out of the way. We get a bit of a ridge building for the beginning of the weekend. However, that breaks and we go into cooler, showery conditions by the start of next week. Bringing the wind from the northwest, which is quite a cool wind direction. So cool and showery with icon there eventually. GFS midnight run again with the low pressure over catch on Thursday, bringing showery conditions, high pressure ridges through Friday to Saturday, a little bit drier uh, and uh, warmer for Saturday, but not for long. Wind soon back in from the northwest, cool and showery again later on in the weekend. And as we go beyond that, 
up towards day 10. We try and get some rich in game, but it never really comes off. It all looks rather half-hearted. So, you know, this we're well beyond uh, day 10. I'm up to 22nd of May there. But we, we've got, like, there is low press sitting over coaching. There are signs with the GFS at the moment that Northern Blocking might start coming back as well, which we don't really want to see uh, at this time of the year because uh, uh, this shows what happens with Northern Blocking this time of year. In fact, you tend to get high pressure over green and underneath it, you'll tend to get a trough of low pressure across the north and the west of uh, Europe. So we eventually go quite wet and cool with uh, the uh, GFS midnight run courtesy of uh, that northern blocking feature. The GFS 6Z, much of the match is for Thursday with a trough over coach being showery conditions. Friday, Saturday will build a nice ridge through northern and western parts of Europe, turning mostly dry then. It should be, uh, you know, on the warm side too. Uh, beyond that, for your Sunday and Monday, well, that uh, high pressure or the ridge breaks and we uh, bring a trough through. So that will bring showery and quite cool conditions uh, across the country uh, with it. And then heading up toward day 10, we've got signs of pressure building uh, to our north in the Norwegian Sea to Greenland. Uh, and also Scandinavia. If that happens, we will start getting wind in to the east or the northeast, which isn't going to be a particularly warm wind direction. And all looks rather showery, I have to say. Not as unsettled as the midnight run, but uh, nevertheless, I suspect there would be rather cool showery conditions with that. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather. Weather things. And we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with the trough through the uh, west of Europe on Thursday, then a ridge building behind it through Friday and Saturday. Um, high pressure sort of out west, spring, quite a bit dry weather, but always looking a little bit cool with a wind direction around the high, we're bringing the wind from the north of the northeast. So, not going to be a heat wave, but rather showery conditions are suggested here, I think, for more eastern parts of the country. However, it's not quite as unsettled as like the GFS midnight run is, so it does have back going for it. And then the ECM again with below pressure over the country on Thursday, that brings quite showery conditions, a bit of a ridge building for the beginning of the coming weekend. That soon gets out of the way though, as well as this and pushes south, was being cooler, showery conditions once again by the beginning of next week. Uh, and that day 10, so high pressure wants to ridge in, but it's all very half-hearted, the high pressure, you know, just isn't really having much umph about it. Um, <laughs> so there we go, you know, just looks rather mediocre. This is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from tometeo.com in the wet weather that we've got pushing across the country today and tonight. That'll be followed by showers, something very heavy tomorrow. More heavy showers on Wednesday and also on Thursday too. A little bit drier for Friday and Saturday. And that ridge and then down comes more show rain later on in the weekend to the beginning of next week. And then we're into like more showery bursts up towards day 10, really. Uh, okay, let's have a look quick look at this. So we can't show you the options for day 14. So this, these are the options on the table uh, for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 18th of May. 29 members of the ECM on top including control and the operational run have a ridge out to the southwest, a trough away to the northwest, and uh, just a little bit on the sherry side then. And then 22 have a stronger ridge of high pressure a minor charge for a stronger ridge of high pressure through the country, which should bring more in the, dry, more in the way of dry and warm weather. Uh, now, as far as we can get to, we can't show you the options on the table for day 14 today, for some reason, at the Icelandic Men's Office. So, we should very quickly move on from that, and we'll have a look at the CFS before we go. So, uh, these are 500 millibar height, and I breaking down into weekly periods. The first weekly period is going to take us from the 8th to the 14th of May. The coming week will have a low pressure way to the northwest, high pressure way to the southwest, and so the high pressure trying to build and set things down, but we probably remain a little bit on the corn show side over a couple of dry and warmer days around Friday and Saturday. Week 2 will be the 15th to 21st of May, with but low pressure then into the north and the west of Europe. That looks quite cool and unsettled. Week Three, three is going to be the 22nd, 28th of May. High pressure then builds to our east, 
and uh, brings the wind up from a southerly direction. So that looks much warmer. Potentially very warm with that. Uh, and we go to the week uh, four, which is the 29th of May to the 4th of June. And again, we've got high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure out in the Atlantic. That should bring a lot of dry and warm, maybe very warm weather with it. So signs that we get towards the last stage of May and the beginning of June, we might start then kicking on into uh, something warmer, drier, maybe even, dare I say it, hotter and drier by the end of May and the beginning of June. June, but of course that is quite some way away and we have got unsettled and cooler conditions to get through uh, before we can get to that so we'll see uh right okay we're done if you enjoy the video please think you like share and subscribe and just show me show both of you out drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and uh, please don't get to your friends about gals where this ask them to subscribe as well i mean thank you so very much everybody for doing that so uh i'll just tell you coming up uh tomorrow we're gonna have the 6 a.m uk weather forecast we will have the extended uh european outlook as well and the 10 to 14 day two we're going to be back live streaming uh 8 p.m. this evening, so uh, check back a little bit later on for your uh, Monday evening relax and chill live. We'll look at the trails then and show you a bit of long range with that as well. It's going to be epic. That's coming up later on. But uh, for this one, though, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.